Hey guys, today's video is going to be 9 myths about guinea pigs that you may or may not have heard of. Number 1. Guinea pigs are low maintenance pets. Guinea pigs are in fact a lot of work but not as much as a dog or a rabbit. Guinea pigs like to poop and pee wherever they like which means they need to be cleaned out frequently. Number 2. Guinea pigs don't need a large cage. Guinea pigs might seem small so they need a small cage. But if you provide your guinea pigs with a cage that is well above 7.5 square feet per guinea pig, you'll see a difference in their behavior. They will be less bored and become more active. Number 3. Guinea pigs are cheap pets. Buying the guinea pigs and the supplies isn't everything. There is going to be an ongoing cost of hay, fresh vegetables, and if you feed it, pellets. You'll occasionally go on websites like Amazon and find guinea pig things that you really like and you'll buy it and soon you'll become obsessed with guinea pigs and buy everything. Number four, guinea pigs are outdoor pets. A guinea pig's body temperature is between 99 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty hot. They can survive temperatures between 70 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. During the winter, it will get quite cold. Even though you might supply them with lots of hay and blankets, the guinea pigs still might freeze. And during the summer, it will get well above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and again, if you're providing them with lots of water and shade, they will still become very hot and they can also get a heat stroke, which is when a guinea pig gets too hot and cannot re regulate their body temperature, they will lay down and constantly breathe heavily. This is very fatal. Number five, guinea pigs are okay by themselves. Guinea pigs are actually not okay by themselves. They are very social animals and like to be in pairs or more. They use each other for protection of any predators. You must have two or more guinea pigs living together. Number six, guinea pigs need a salt and mineral lick. Guinea pigs don't need salt licks. They get most of their salt from the vegetables they eat and if fed pellets. Guinea pigs will lick it out of boredom and will get too much salt which can lead to bladder issues. Guinea pigs will also lick your fingers for a little extra salt. Number seven, guinea pigs are boring. Guinea pigs are not boring pets. You'll probably think this because you're keeping them in a small cage. Of course, they will be as boring as they are because they have nothing to do, nowhere to go. If you're providing them with a cage that is the minimal for two guinea pigs, 10.5 square feet, and set it up with lots of tunnels and places to hide, your guinea pigs will be more active and want to play with their piggy friends. Number eight, my guinea pig isn't tame because it doesn't let me pick it up. This is the opposite of true. A guinea pig's natural instinct is to run and hide. It's okay if you try to pet your guinea pig and he or she runs away. That's totally normal even for the most tame guinea pigs. If they don't want to be pet or picked up, you have to respect that. Number nine, vegetables shouldn't be fed as it'll upset their stomach. Vegetables make up 15% of a guinea pig's diet. There are some vegetables that guinea pigs can't have often, like broccoli and kale, as it's very gassy but in high in vitamin C. Most vegetables will not upset their stomach and is okay. That is all for today's video. If you found these interesting or if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up because it really shows whether if you like me to make more videos like this in the future. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!